Hello, my fellow humans, and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this channel, this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and space with you. And for anyone new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned loving, authentic self. Should these messages happen to resonate, it would mean so much to me if you're to like, comment, and subscribe below. And that being said, today we are getting messages from Source. So Source has a message for you today. We're going to use the Dragon Oracle deck that I have to find out what that is. This is the Dragon Wisdom... I'm sorry, the Dragon Riders Oracle. So Source, what Dragon Riders Oracle card will help us better understand the message that you have for my fellow humans today? Thank you. On the bottom of the deck we have... Uh, Afriel and Beletza with 23. A fresh wind is blowing your into your life. Believe in your divine guidance and recognize all the gifts along your path. Also, this feels like purifying and alignment. Coming into a much higher vibration as well. <clears throat> I love this message already. Okay, so Source, what is the message that you have for my fellow humans today? What would you like them to know? Source, what is the message that you have for my fellow humans today? What would you like them to know? Okay, so we've got the ninth house, the sun, and Sagittarius energy. So the ninth house has been making a debut appearance this week. <laughs> a lot of spiritual growth. That's really what this feels like here, right? Coming into that excited place again, there's something that's coming in that's really going to help you express yourself and allow yourself to just be who you are at your core as well. It's like no longer are you going to be fearing what it is that you desire in this life, right? You're going to really be coming into this place of understanding yourself, of knowing where it is you want to go and where your abundance is, right? It's like where your intention is going, that's where your abundance is flowing. And so that's coming in right now and this understanding of what that means. It feels like you're coming into this place of seeing just how truly a great a manifester you are. Your dreams, you're following your dreams, you're following the insight that you're being given. There's something here, maybe you want to travel, you want to publish something, you want to experience different cultures, you want to learn different things, uh, you want to gain more wisdom, and you're doing that. Feels like there's a lot of optimism here and expansion and enthusiasm for what's next. And you're gaining a lot of intelligence. And there's just a lot of energy that's going to be surrounding you at this time. And you're going to feel a lot more confident. And I feel like this is going to have to do with your stamina, your vitality, your creation. Like what you're creating is giving you a lot of energy and a lot of life right now. And you're going to feel really good about yourself. If it's not here yet, this is something that's coming, right? That new wind is blowing in. So there's just a lot that's happening uh, from behind the scenes. And Source is helping to bring you into alignment with something that's meant to be in your life right now so let's see source what is the message that you have for my fellow humans today what would you like them to know source what is the message you have for my fellow humans today okay thank you source what is the message you have for my fellow humans today uh this could be love that's coming in as well but it does feel like you're also letting go of old habits old patterns old belief systems in regards to yourself source what is the message you have for my fellow humans today it just feels like you've been letting go of something that you felt like you had to hold on to out of obligation and it could be love right it could be a relationship you were holding on to out of obligation and now you're like, nope, I know what I want and I know who I want to be and I want to move towards that. And now you're giving yourself permission to do that. And that's why it's bringing this new energy and this new vitality into your life. Yeah, we have the page of swords in on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. And it's like this energy of not knowing before 
not really knowing if you wanted to deal with this or not. I don't really want to face this. I don't want to face the consequences of having to let this go. I don't want to face what the backlash is for having to stand my ground here. And so not really being sure of which direction to take, but then seeing that that's the energy that you've overcome. What did I say? It's like a, it's a thought. It's, it's a way of thinking. It's a pattern. It's a process that you have about yourself. And you're saying enough is enough. You're putting your foot down for yourself right like sometimes we have to set solid boundaries with ourselves we have to pay attention and become so aware of the thoughts that we're having and what it is that we think about ourselves how we talk to ourselves and sometimes we're our own worst enemies and we have to say enough enough i'm done being my own worst enemy and that's exactly this type of energy with the seven of swords here next to the page of swords in the reverse is saying that i'm done getting stuck in these thoughts that are sending me down these rabbit holes that do me no good that leave me indecisive that leave me unsure that leave me feeling cold and cruel towards myself that leave me in self-hatred that leave me in hatred of others and judgment of others and seeing that all along it was just a thought it was it was a way of thinking and you're healing that and letting it go and actually gaining a lot of wisdom from observing that so we have the queen of coins in the reverse and the sun in the reverse this came from somebody who was incredibly overbearing in your life or who is overbearing in your life. This could be a mother. This could be a father. This could be a lover, right? I said that when we were shuffling, I got that energy of it being a relationship, like dealing with the consequences. That's what I keep hearing. I don't want to deal with the consequences that come from me letting go. But we have the sun in the dice and in the tarot, but the sun and the tarot is in the reverse. It's just showing I'm stuck. I feel stuck in this situation. And I always love to point this out that this wall back here is actually not a very big wall, but when it's in the reverse, it seems like a mountain to climb, right? But in reality, it's not. We're making mountains out of mohills and we're not recognizing the power that we have and just getting to the other side. And this is a completion for you, but there's still a lot of fears that are coming up because it feels like there's a lot tied to this person. Okay. Whoever this queen of coins is representing. It's like, there's a lot, it could be money, it could be dependency, codependency, it could be a title, a position they hold in your life. This could be a boss, a coworker. It's like someone that you have to deal with on the regular and it's just hopeless because this person is so controlling. This person is very, they just don't care about what's going on in your life and nor do they want to get to know what's going on in your life. Like if they even stop to listen about what's going on in your life, they're only doing it so that you'll let your guard down and give them the energy that they're asking or requiring of you. Right. And this person just doesn't care. They don't care whose toes they step on. They don't care how they look to it's you know it's just weird it's like they don't care how they look to you but they care how they look to other people and so there's this there's a project or a creative gift or a creative uh energy that's coming in that's going to help you draw your energy back from this this is all just about you choosing to take your energy back and not getting caught up in the tales and the stories that this person is trying to convince you of. Like this person is just very very ruthless in the way that they show up i would say manipulative but it's not even about being manipulative this person is just controlling and they want control and they want to have control over everything and maybe they use manipulative tactics to get that but i think more than anything they use tactics of fear to get what they want from life. That's exactly what this feels like. This person will use their anger more than anything else. Even though coins don't usually point towards father uh, or father. <laughs> so maybe this is a father. It doesn't have to be. Uh, the coins don't really point towards fire energy, but I do get that with the sun. This is a really fiery energy. This is someone who's fighting for the attention that you naturally get but they want to take it off of you so they're hoping that some way shape or form that you'll put the fire and the spotlight on them and they do that in a very aggressive way they like to make you feel small right they like to make you feel belittled here and it's like almost it's it's just the tactic that's always worked the best for them drop your shields yeah it's time for you to drop your shields here when they say that not letting this person walk all over you 
okay? You're already protected, but you you have shields up for yourself. Like you're you're putting yourself in a more stressful situation saying, "Oh, I don't feel protected in this. I I feel like overstressed. I feel like I'm absorbing this person's energy." And really it's just a choice. You can choose not to absorb their energy. You can choose to cut that tie with them. You might benefit from the whole pono pono prayer. You might also benefit from cord cutting meditations at this time, like just consistent practice every day, if not twice a day if you can dedicate that time towards it, and that will help you see that you're actually the person who can create your own energetic field, even when you're an empath, you have to recognize where your energy ends and where another person's begins. So that way that you're not carrying this heavy energy or feeling like you have to feel guilty when this person shows up in the chaotic place that they show up in. Yeah, we have Mother Earth. Feel loved and comforted. So right now, Source is trying to remind you just how loved and supported you are. And I feel like you need that. I feel like you need that reminder that you are loved and with mother earth energy coming in as well that's that reminder that this creative project will help you feel supported because it'll it'll get you into a place of presence and when we're in a place of presence we're in a place of love right and when you have your guard up you can't come into that place of presence because you feel like you're always fighting against this person's energy but that's this person's talent if you will is to get you to let your guard down by putting up the shield around yourself, like ostracizing yourself, cutting yourself off, putting yourself in solitude, putting yourself even in solitary confinement. Like that's how this person wins because then this person can do whatever they want with everyone else and convince them of whoever you are. We have the thief. Shed light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Exactly. No one can steal your energy if you don't let them, right? We have the shadow attribute of stealing money, creative ideas, affection, and other powers you think you lack. So this person likes to steal your attention, your affection, and tries to make you think that you're lacking power to take care of yourself. But you you don't. There's a, a choice here, a shift. And that shift, if you can't do it consciously with this person, that's okay. What the message from Source is saying, don't worry about trying to consciously protect yourself from this person. Worry instead about making space and time for this new and creative creative endeavor that I've given you and put all your energy and effort onto that and you're going to feel a lot better. Shapeshifter, we have skilled at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything and the shadow is projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. And they're in their shadow and we see you're in the light. So we're asking you to shift your consciousness. We need you to come into presence so that we can help you undo the knots that this person has so skillfully tried to tangle around you and you at the same time have believed right because we have to believe in order for that to be a reality in our lives and so they just want you to bring back you bring you back into this place of presence so that you can reclaim your power we have servant delight in serving others with a free and loving heart and the shadow is using the lack of money as an excuse to need not to move forward with life and that's why i feel like there's some sense of dependency here with this person that is like playing at a role as like giving them the power over you and they're saying like yes maybe you're in a position where you can't just up and leave but there's no reason to let this person have this energy or play this wreak this havoc in your life on the bottom we have the monk and the nun selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit and the shadow is negative judgment of the physical world and excess piety Okay, and so I feel like this is just that reminder. Source is trying to bring you back to that devotion, that dedication. Wow, my apologies. With source energy. Okay, and let's see what your card is here. Landa and Clarita, which says, Life on Earth is a heroic journey. Mastering the visible and the earthly is as important as mastering the invisible and the mystic. Right, you're on the hero's journey right now. You have to bring back that power to yourself and recognize that this is just a part of the process and that you will overcome this. You will get through this. But remember that it's okay to celebrate just how powerful you are so that you can let that go and not let them rule over your energy in your life. And part of that is by em embracing whatever this creative 
endeavor is that source has brought to you, okay? So this is what I see here for you. If you feel like this is your reading, leave the little sun emoji down below and say, I embrace my power by becoming present within my creativity and love of self. And if you felt like it resonated, it would mean so much to me if you're to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all those links in the description box in order to do so. You can email me for a personal reading. You can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member. I would love to see you on membership. So if not, thank you so much for your continued support here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here, but I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.